Yo, yo, what's up aliens? Ahi here with another tutorial. So today I'm really stoked to be getting into this new synth called Vital. It's free to download, so if you haven't already, definitely go check it out. We're gonna recreate that perfect web sound that I've done inside Serum, but we're gonna do it inside of Vital here. And it's pretty simple process, and it's just seeing this process will help get you into sound design really quickly right off the bat. So let's go ahead uh, I've already selected basic shapes. Uh, it's under the factory settings here, but I've favorited it because we're going to be using it a lot. And again, I'm going to select the basic shapes. And I'm going to have sine waves on both of them. I'm going to turn down the levels on both of them as well. And then I'm going to turn up the pitch of oscillator one. Uh, let's do it up uh, two octaves, so to 24 there. Okay, great. So real quick, let's make sure that we're playing that sub bass tone here on oscillator 2. That's the right octave. We're going to select FM from oscillator 1. So this is like the FM from B, but FM from oscillator 1. And we're going to just turn this up real lightly to like 2.5%, somewhere in that ballpark range. And then we're going to apply LFO 1 to the FM, and we're going to have it modulate up by... 0.167 somewhere in that range there we go I'm gonna check to make sure my BPM on my track is at 150 and then also we're gonna apply LFO 1 to the level of oscillator 2 and we're gonna allow that to modulate up all the way and we're actually gonna bring the level up ever so slightly to 0 0.25 let's try this yeah we've already started to get that womp uh, now let's turn up the frequency to say like eighth notes and then let's turn up this oscillator one up another octave to 36. Boom! That classic clean FM wub sound. And we could be done with the tutorial right there. Uh, a lot of y'all I know will really enjoy that, that kind of sound. You can mess around with the, with the LFO to get different patterns. Uh, also, what's really fun inside here is actually going through and uh, I've favorited a bunch of my favorite wavetable shapes. So you can, or sorry, the LFO shapes. So you can actually go through. So let's slow this down and see what that sounds like. You get all these really cool shapes. That one's a little much. Uh, I like this one a lot. Right, let's slow that one down. Very cool. Another fun thing to do on here, uh, something to notice is that this FM amount, you you really want to have it be more subtle because if you crank it up all the way, it just gets a little cluttered. So it's all about that subtlety in that FM. Now let's try to go through and change this from the basic shapes to like maybe one of these custom wavetables. Let's go to the Tam Litit and we're going to select Pew Hits the Fan. I really like this wavetable. Check it out. Let's play around with the octave. Oh, that one's dope. Bring it down again. That's super mean. Now let's try out some of the spectral modes on this wavetable here. Uh, so this is one of the the really new things about Vital. In Span, it had all these like warp modes, uh, but this is a whole nother sort of warp mode like thing, but they call it uh, spectral warping or spectral morphing. So here, let's, let's just take a listen to some of these. So without anything. That one's very cool. Turning that one up is almost like pulse width modulation, but a little bit different. <laughs> Harmonic stretch is really interesting because it's sort of like a sync and then like a reverse sync where the more you pull it to the left, the more similar to a sine wave the uh, it's going to get. And then the more to the right you put it, it's going to be like multiple octaves of your original version. <laughs> In harmonic does a very similar thing as well, uh, but 
but a more ringy result when you turn it to the right. Smear is almost like that pulse width modulation as well, but it's like not with the width, but the height. That's interesting. And then this random amp. I really like this one. Get all sorts of weird random sounds out of that. Also, I like the phase disperse. You can hear like these uh, upper little like, like weird little upper phasey sounds. That one's pretty subtle. It'll it'll be more apparent on like a solid wave though. And then also the time skew one's pretty cool. It's almost like FMing again on itself. That one's a very fun one. But yeah, so this is all fun ways to uh, get just more uh, to alter your sound in different ways. Then you could like combine these so we could do like a band and a time skew. Then you could also switch through, just cycle through some of these. Another cool thing in here is uh, it's got more, it's the trigger mode, which uh, will repeat the sequence every time that you hit it, but you can also control where it's starting by moving this. That one's pretty useful. The sync mode just sort of syncs it to the BPM and it's just sort of always running in the background. It'll start just wherever it's synced to when you re-trigger it. Envelope just goes through it once. Uh, and here's sort of the weird ones, the sustain envelope and loop point and loop hold. So check this out. If I play this, it's essentially just holding. It, it, it'll play and then hold at the position that you set it to. Again here, loop point. It like, it will play from the beginning, go to the end, and then sort of play from where, uh, where you move that to. And then the loop hold is sort of like the opposite. So you're controlling like the loop back point right there, which is pretty cool. You could do some pretty cool effects with this, like going. You could definitely get some really cool effects to automating that. And I want to show you all some of the cool stuff here inside of the effects. The chorus, I just think this thing is an, um, amazing in this plugin. It's just such a rich chorus, and I like to play around with the depth, maybe bring these delays down a little bit, uh, duck that EQing of it, and then you could even put the LFO here on the mix of the chorus. Turn up that feedback. It just gives like your sound this like particular space, but also just like playing around with that depth super fun now with the compressor yeah it's pretty good just as is but I sort of like turning up the attack and turning down the release I feel like that gets a pretty squished sound Ooh, with that chorus maybe let's turn on some distortion that's getting pretty gritty another thing I like to do with the EQ is let's put um let's click on the high band and put the lfo on the gain of the high band maybe turn it down a little bit yeah it just gives it that extra dynamic after we've taken away the dynamics with the compressor there i think that's super fun also i really really like this flanger in here Especially that you can bring down the frequency so it's just frozen. And now align the offsets. And then I'll just really boost up that feedback and then put the LFO on the mix amount again. 
uh, yeah it just adds that cool texture to it maybe playing around with the center yeah i love that one yeah, so now if you've got a sound that you like to save it, you click up here on this little button and I'd say give it a bass. I'm going to call it a wub uh, just so that way I can go through and select all through my different wubs and I'll call this a uh, toilet ringer. Cool. So now when I go in here to my user uh, folder, I just have everything in here. Like I've got all my wubs lined up, all of my donks, my respaces, stabs, and whatnot. But let's go back and check out this basic shapes again i just want to show you uh just one of these just this clean sine waves with the uh with the reverb on ah. just that classic sound another cool thing in here if we initialize this patch we can actually right click on here and do text to wavetable. And so I can type in, what's up aliens? I'll hit enter. And now we've got this text to wavetable here. We'll put an LFO on here and we'll just have it scroll through there. What's up aliens? What's up? Oh yeah, let's, see, let's slow that down. Turn up. What's up, aliens? What? Oh, yeah, you hear that? What's up, aliens? Oh, so dope. What's up, aliens? Here, and then let's try FMing that. So we'll, we'll select the basic shapes here. Make sure we're playing in that low sub. Yeah, okay, great. Let's try FMing from oscillator one there. Turn down this level. I'm curious to see what this sounds like. What's up, aliens? What's up, aliens? What's oh, this is dope. What's up, aliens? What's up, aliens? What's up, aliens? What's up, aliens? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I love it. Let's try vocoding. Let's play around with the the uh, the modulator. What's up, aliens? What's up, aliens? What's up, aliens? Oh my God, I love it. What's up, aliens? Oh, that's What's up, aliens? That's nuts. That's not even anything like the original. Oh, that's compression. Oh. oh, let's try this delay. Oh man, I gotta save that. Okay, we'll, we'll call that an effect, even though it's a bass. What's okay? That's so fun. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So I, I hope you all enjoyed this. I uh, hope you got something out of it. If you did, please be sure to give it a like. And before I go, uh. I have some uh, new Magic Racks. I want to show you one of these old ones. I've been using this one a lot. It's part of the Magic Racks Volume 2. The Fat Magic Rack. Just throwing this on after Vital is so fun. Just the difference. Oh, so dope. And the radio fades in the new Volume 3 is one of my favorites because you could use this for intros, uh, for bass sounds, and it's just so much fun. <laughs> And you've got all these different types. Definitely go check those out. Oh, the Fuzzy Maker. This one's. Fun. Oh, this one's so cool. You could throw this one on on drums or vocals and whatnot. So we'll throw it on this vocal sample. I'm not what we love fear. And with the magic hype box. I'm not what we love fear. Oh yeah, totally switches it up. I'm not what we love fear. Oh, so dope. Let's try it with the fuzzy maker. I thought we went off here. Oh yeah, I was told a uh, short. Uh, someone showed me this one where they combine the short with the fuzzy maker. I thought we went off here. Oh, it sounds so dope with the vocals on there. I think it would also sound good on like an almond break or something like that. Check this out. <laughs> So 
So fun. I'll provide a link below where y'all can get my magic racks. All right, aliens, I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Motherfucker, you